right, guys, we're up here in Queensland. We're actually out at Mark Larkham's property. Uh, Larko is a Polaris user. He has a diesel that's several years old that he's been flogging to death on his property, and we've also got a brand new one here. Larko, I'm curious to know, on the vehicle you've put several years of use into, what have you liked that, that has survived, what's worn, um, and how's it kind of been after several years? Um, Mitch, to be honest, uh, you know, I sound like a salesman, I'm not. Um, mate, I, the, the worst thing that's gone wrong with this thing is the battery went flat on the remote winch. But just for that reason alone, I actually have told Polaris, I'd love to see him always have a cable. Yep. You know, batteries always let us down in every device, don't they, the yep. worst time. Mate, outside of that, you know, and I guess that's the point um, and I know that the engineers came out here and did this vehicle very specifically for Australia. Mm. Um, things like the Donaldson air filter, mm. I reckon it's really important because, you know, whilst it's nice and green now, mate, you saw what the drought was yep. like, this was dust. Yeah. Um, and for me, you know, filtration is critically important. Mm. So if you've got that there. And I think the other thing, then we've contrasted that with the floods and water. We have a creek here that comes up like the Amazon. Mm. We've been able to spend a lot of time going through water checking cattle and what have you. And I think just some of that additional, they call it heavy duty kit, but mm. some of those sealed bearings mm. and those sorts of things, I think have really helped. Mm. Um, mate, I, I do get it serviced at the dealer. And I think that's probably part of the reason that, yeah. that, that, that reliability is also there, which is, it's like your road car is and it's always a good thing. You know, in fact, I did a little bit of research and found out Aussie and Kiwi farmers, we are the worst in the world. <laughs> we do not service vehicles and we expect them to go forever. So there's maybe a little bit of something in that, but mate, I've had a, I've had a great run. And I think the nature of a diesel, I've, I've had petrol ones. Yeah. I find that I drive those faster, hoot around a bit more, probably have a bit of too much fun sometimes. The diesel for me to work. Mm. So you, you, you're kind of not flogging it. You mm. know, it's copping a hard time mm. on hard terrain, but you know, the, the multiply tires and things like that, it's just, I don't know, you clipped in the grass here, it cops it. Yeah, yeah. So, mate, yeah. I, yeah I know I sound like, but I've had a good run. I've yeah. had a great run. I've gone back to back in them over the last little while, jumping to and fro and hopping in the brand new one that's hardly done any hours and in yours is several years old. It's really hard to even notice the difference in drive and, and ride, comfort and feel. Uh, the motor feels just as tight, the suspension feels just as tight. All the accessories that you've got on your old one with the doors and the windows, everything opens and closes fine. So it's pretty impressive after several years. And like you said, drought and flooding rain. So you've had both kind of conditions. Yep. Yeah, hundred um, percent. It, it really is, and it's. Um, I I love the diesel engine. In fact, I had the old Kohler engine, this Kubota engine. I mm. put them side by side. This is a much better little doll. Um, they're not meant to be race cars, mm. um, but I find myself a lot of times just idling, doing mm. stuff, fixing fences when the bull goes through next door all the time. All you know, spraying weeds. You know, in this sort of heat, yeah. which we'll be doing again this summer. Mm. Um, long time idling, so thing just purrs along and, and does its job. No, mate, I, I've had a great run with it in what I think, I, I joke, because the Americans, right, they drive these things around cornfields, you know, bring them to Australia, we'll show you how to <laughs> test them and R&D them. Um, and, you know, look at the bull dust we have to put up with here mm. and, you know, the undulations and, and even things like Euclid laying in long grass that flicks up and wax it. It's all of that stuff that they mm. just don't, you know, the Yanks have got it pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Well, I've had a ball coming out here and getting a chance to try one that's, uh, you know, several years old. And um, you know, I hope we can come back and do more of this kind of testing and get to experience you know, the products being used over several years and, and how they've held up.